Hi, I'm Philip from Slacker Racing, and today we're going to port some cylinder heads. This is going to be a 4.1, should rev to about 8,800 RPM when we're done with it. Give us an extra 1,400 RPM on the uh, power band, hopefully, or a higher power band. It give us an extra. It just moves it. If we achieve this goal, it should put out somewhere in the neighborhood of, uh, I'd say, 430 to 440 naturally aspirated horsepower. Fingers crossed. We won't know until we actually dyno it, but that's what I've kind of worked up in my head based off of the flow numbers, what we get RPM gain and from 7,000. Um, so should be interesting to see. Just so you guys know, if you ever decide you want to try to take on this, this Makita, it's a GD603, very, very nice and, and smooth grinder. I suggest it anytime you're using one of these longer bits. I do use these uh, cheaper ones. You can find these at Harbor Freight. They do not handle long bits like the Makita does and will cause issues. But if you trim these back and you don't need a longer bit, they work pretty good. They do have a little more torque than the Makita, but you'll find out that uh, you don't always need the torque. And that's what I was just going to give you all a little tip. On all my bits, I use uh, paraffin wax. You buy this at the grocery store to, to lubricate them with. That way, if you ever have to weld, the paraffin wax won't cause an issue welding on aluminum. So I, this is what I use. I already did the combustion chambers, as you can see. Combustion chambers are done. Gonna start on the intake ports. Bottom side of the intake port, I've done this port job several times now. So I'm not gonna start on the valve side. I'm gonna start on the uh, port side, get my contours uh, ground in, roughed in, and then start working on some finish. Uh, the last set I did, I did a burr finish, a real fine burr finish. I don't think I'm gonna do that this time. I'm gonna stick with my standard 60 grit finish on this one. I wanna see what that burr finish does on the dyno before I do another one. Either way, it's still gonna perform. We're just looking for that add a little detail to uh, give us a little more power out of it and see what it does. So porting cylinder heads is beneficial because our goal is to achieve a higher discharge coefficient so that you're getting more air into the cylinder in the same amount of time to be compressed which creates more horsepower and torque. And there's a uh, method to it all. Your ports have to be the, not only the proper size but the proper shape. There's calculations to get you real close to the proper size, but the shape is what will really increase the efficiency, and that's something that you have to figure out by trying different things and testing. Testing starts with the flow bench and a airspeed meter, and then from there it's onto the dyno, where it, the dyno gives us our final number that says, yes, that shape is correct. Um, and you can only do that by really testing different cylinder heads. This is what they look like stock. Let me flip this over for you so you can get the other side. So you see what it looks like stock. Mm -hmm. We've pretty much done the rough in on this one with the uh, intake port. And I'll flip it over and we can get a, uh, another view of it from this side. And you can see it looks quite a bit different. Probably the most difficult part of doing this is learning the different bits and how to make the shapes. And not only that, some of these bits uh, take uh, experience to learn how to control them. But like when you first start out, you better start on a practice head because you're liable to lose control of the bit. Unexpected bite and it will does what I call rattling the port it'll bounce all over the port. And everywhere it bounces, it's gonna put a nick or a chip right in that port. We opened up the ports, narrowed the divider, did a burr finish, did our valve job on it, and got everything done. The exhaust is done over here. We opened it up over here in the bowl area on the floor and polished it up got a good smooth finish on the exhaust and we're ready to flow test it so we're going to go over there flow test these cylinder heads to make sure that they're right and get back with you okay so we got done with our port job i didn't get me testing the ports but i do have the results i want to share with you guys if you come over here and look this is uh before the port job graph right here 
and then after the port job on the intake side is that's the difference and then on the exhaust this is before the port job and then this is after the port job and there's a big difference there as well and that's pretty much what we got we'll put it on the dyno we have some camshafts coming in for this one and uh, we'll hopefully make about 430 horsepower naturally aspirated with this one stay tuned and thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button